The history of aviation is the story of dreams and visions. Flying machines, from the earliest glider to hot air balloons to the aircraft of the world wars and the jets and helicopters of today, we have advanced in capability, allowing man to master the skies. Unmanned aircraft have been in development since the beginning of World War I, and the United States Army has been a pioneering force for unmanned flight. The Army's first major unmanned aircraft program, the Aquila, was designed to serve as a laser designator for the artillery. Though never deployed, the Aquila led to developments in laser designation and flight controls used today. Since these early days, advances have followed a path of steady evolution, growing more and more sophisticated and capable to meet the needs of soldiers on today's battlefields. At the center of that evolution is the U.S. Army Aviation and Missile Research Development and Engineering Center, also known as AMARDEC. The AMARDEC combines the collective education, skills, and experience of over 2,000 engineers, scientists, and technicians with world-class test facilities, development labs, and prototyping capabilities all across the country. AMARDEC is moving each new development of the Army's manned and unmanned flight programs from concept to combat. For decades, AMARDEC has served as a unifying force in the Army's aviation programs, exploring new technologies and serving as the focal point for research, development, and engineering technology and services for aviation and missile platforms. As the cornerstone of the Army's science and technology development for unmanned aerial systems, the AMARDEC has led and supported many experiments, tests, and studies. The Army's unmanned flight systems require technologies not only to fly and maneuver the vehicle, but also to manage the sensors, data handling, and payload control to accomplish an ever-broadening range of mission requirements. These programs and studies provided the guidepost in the evolution of the Army's unmanned aerial systems towards the realization of autonomous flight. The stage is set for this next big step, and AMARDEC is leading the way. The AMARDEC RMAX research helicopter has advanced to include engagement of autonomous flight controls, obstacle field navigation, safe landing area determination, and culminating with the incorporation of a 3D risk minimizing algorithm. Shortly thereafter, AMARDEC launched the first full-scale autonomous flight with the Rascal JUH-60 Alpha Black Hawk helicopter. Equipped with computer algorithms developed on the RMAX and a scanning LIDAR, the Rascal is capable of low-altitude, terrain-hugging flight, not typically employed by other UAVs. This autonomous vehicle can adjust routes on the fly and evaluate landing zones without input from a pilot. These technologies are integrated onto the K-MAX cargo aircraft, rated for loads up to 6,000 pounds. AMARDEC partnered with industry to add the technologies that allow autonomous flight. The K-MAX has flown hundreds of missions in Afghanistan, supporting the efforts of the U.S. Marine Corps by delivering over 3 million pounds of supplies. Atua's technologies allow the KMAX to precisely deliver cargo, all on its own. As you have seen, MRDEC has been involved in the development of autonomous systems for many years, both manned and unmanned. From our early days in St. Louis to the current headquarters in Huntsville, Alabama, MRDEC's aviation team has continuously been the leader in aviation science and technology. The Atuas technologies present in the K-MAX today were not only developed through aircraft such as Aquila, Hunter, and Shadow, but also our many science and technology programs since the 80s. We will continue to infuse autonomy into the fleet. The challenge of the future is the incorporation of relevant autonomous capabilities into the fleet in support of an expeditionary force. MRDEC is currently leading the development of the optionally piloted Future Vertical Lift family of aircraft. This once impossible fully autonomous task is now just the next increment. Our best and brightest minds in aviation will continue to enhance the capability for both platform and network-centric autonomous capability. 
We will continue to discover, develop, and demonstrate new technologies in order to deliver them to the warfighter. At MRDEC, the future is now.